nine. Time to stop procrastinating. Let's get this video project done. Mm -hmm. What are we doing? We're doing turbo generators. Right. That's a thing that oh, yeah. I totally know about. Oh, you should. They produce power for the ship. They convert thermal energy into electrical energy. Right. Indeed. Alright, I guess. Let's get started. Sounds good. Guys, I think I found a turbo generator. Sorry, CJ. It's right here. Right. I knew that. Yeah. So let's first start out and talk about how the turbine converts thermal energy into mechanical energy. First with the turbine, the exhaust gas or the steam passes through nozzles, which will direct it into the turbine blades. From there, it will be fed into the turning vanes, which will redirect it into the next set of turbine blades and then so on through the next stages. The more stages you have, the more efficient the turbine will be. Um, in this process, the exhaust gas acts on the turbine blades and causes it to rotate, um, converting the thermal energy into mechanical energy. Ian, CJ, wake up. Wow, Isaac, that was really cool. I know, right? Okay, stay with me, guys. One thing to note, as we pass through the turbine, through each stage, there's a pressure drop. Therefore, a decrease in force acting on each blade. To counteract this, we must mount the blades further from the shaft to maintain the level of torque needed. Therefore, as we see, going through the turbine, the blades are mounted further and further from the shaft. Got it, guys? What are you looking at? So then all the electricity from the generator flows out through this pipe. Uh, sorry, CJ. You're right. But I got this. I totally got this. Okay. So the turbine, directly connected to the rotor on the generator, yep. spins the rotor and the electromagnet, electromagnets attached to the rotor. Okay. The rotor spins inside the stationary stator, which has series of wound insulated coils around it. Uh -huh. The spinning magnetic field induces an electrical current within the coils by Faraday's law and creates energy for the ship. Okay, you got it now. Now, one more time, but with more his ass. rotational speed of the shaft and the number of holes in the generator. The typical output frequency of the generator is 60 Hz. Okay, but look up. Turn on the camera. When high power output is required from the turbo generator, it usually ends up... exploding. You should, did you say explode? No. What do you... What do you... Oh. Hmm. Alright, why don't you just uh, take my sheet instead? The turbine is going to need more energy to keep up with the higher power consumption. The governor regulates gas flow into the turbine. Good, finish it off. The turbo generator can only produce so much power. The coil in the stator becomes hotter when more current is flowing through them. And the coils can only get so hot before they melt. Perfect. I'll just do it without the sheet. Okay now, one more take. Ugh, what are you talking about? We already filmed for seven hours. Wait, Ian, what are you doing? Wait, what are you talking about? <laughs>